Hey there! So I recently came back from a research trip that I went on for work and I wanted to share a little bit about what a research trip looks like and what are the kind of things we get up to when we go on a research trip. If you haven't been on a research trip before, typically a research trip is a good chance to go and validate your ideas get some feedback, perhaps do a little bit of prototype testing if you're a designer, and then also just generally talk to your users. So recently we launched a new product in Mexico and we'd been on a few research trips already in the past year. But this time we wanted to go back to get some feedback from our drivers and see how it was actually going and working in the real world. So me and some colleagues got on a plane flew to Mexico and met up with some drivers and also local operations there to see how it's going and get their feedback. If you're able to have a dedicated researcher on your team, then you're really lucky. It makes a big difference. We're pretty lucky that in my team we have two researchers that are dedicated to the projects that we work on. And those researchers can help with both quantitative and qualitative type research. Now, quantitative research might be things like surveys or calls and qualitative research is when we actually go out in the field and get a little bit more hands-on feedback. On this particular research trip, there were six of us that went. First, we had two dedicated user researchers. Then we had myself, which I'm a designer. Then we also had the product manager who was kind of in charge and leading the whole project. Then we also had a content strategist who helps with the copy and the content. And then lastly, we had an engineer. So each of us came with a different perspective, with a little bit different goals, different things we were trying to find out. But overall, we had a good representation of different people in the team. So in a nutshell, here is how our trip went. On the first day, we did what we call drive-alongs. And drive-alongs, I think, are pretty special and unique to Uber. So it's a really sort of intimate interview where we're all you know, listening and letting them talk and really hearing what they have to say. And typically in these drive-alongs, we start with talking about the general topic and the general problem space, trying to learn more and uncover different insights. And then at the end, we ask the driver to pull over and if we can, we might show them a prototype. So these types of interviews and research are really useful because you're actually conducting the interview and the testing in context. On the second day, we visited the Greenlight Hub. And if you don't know, the Greenlight Hub is our support center. And we have Greenlight Hubs in every city around the world in which we operate. And the cool thing about going to the Greenlight Hub is that we can talk to local ops, so people who actually work for Uber, and so we can hear their side of the story as well and how it's going for them. So on this day, we scheduled three user testing sessions where we actually brought the driver in one by one into a room and we had a camera set up with a test fund underneath that had the prototype. And this time what we really wanted to do was like focused prototype user testing. So I created a prototype, we had that on the test phone and we put that in front of the driver and tried to walk them through a particular scenario. We would give them a goal, we would ask them how they would get there, we would ask them to show us in particular how to get there, encouraging them to interact with the test phone. And this was a really good way for me, especially, to get feedback on the design experience. Now, if you're doing these user testing sessions with some of your teammates, then I encourage you to assign everybody a role. And this helps everyone feel involved, gives everybody something to do, and also helps keep everybody focused. So we had a few different roles during these sessions. The first role is obviously the interviewer. So that's the person who's conducting the interview, talking to the user and guiding them through a particular scenario. The second role to have is a note taker. So you want someone who is taking notes, listening thoroughly, because these notes will be super helpful when you want to try and communicate and uh, summarize this feedback for the rest of your team. The third role to have is the listener. And I know this might sound counterintuitive because everybody should be listening. And that's true. But I think it's always good to have a person there who's just dedicated to purely listening to the user, right? They don't have their laptop open, they're not distracted by their phone, they're just purely there to listen and give the user all of their attention. And in our case, we had a special extra role, the fourth role, which was an interpreter 
because we obviously don't speak Spanish. So we needed an interpreter to help us communicate with the user. So that person was sitting next to the interviewer and helping translate between the user and the interviewer on our team. Then on the last day, we did what we call a round table, which is basically where we bring a select group of users together and chat about a particular topic or problem space, but in a group setting. And this is really cool because it gives the users a comfortable, safe space to share their opinion. And then it also fosters conversation between users. So a lot of them can be talking all at once and sometimes it can be pretty overwhelming. People talking loud, some people talking over one another. But also the cool thing about it is that you can hear different opinions and different experiences from different people. So you can kind of compare and contrast and get different kinds of feedback. What I like about these group discussions is that it gives you a good general sense of how it's going, which for us helped to identify any problem areas or places that we could perhaps improve in the product. While still in Mexico, on one of the last days, I recorded a quick clip about how I was feeling about the trip, which I'll play here. So we just finished the last user test and this research trip is officially coming to a close. I always love these trips. I mean, being able to actually go and talk to the real people that are actually using the features that I designed, see how they interact with it, get their feedback, and hear their story is just so valuable. I mean, it's so easy for me to just sit at my desk in Amsterdam and have this assumption of how people are gonna use it and what people are gonna think about it. But actually coming here to Mexico and seeing it in the wild is such a different experience. So all in all, a pretty good trip. So that's a quick look into how a research trip typically goes. I found that they are a fantastic way to get that feedback straight from your users test the product in the real world and see generally how it's performing in context. So that's all I really have for this video. If you have a particular topic or request, something you'd like me to make a video about that's related to design, product, research, then please leave me a comment and I might make a future video about it. So see you in the next video, I guess. <laughs> Bye.